What's up? This is Jeremiah James. I've got a guitar lesson here for you on T-Shirt by Nash. My guitar is in standard tuning, playing without a capo. It's all open chords. A lot of people have been asking me what kind of guitar this is. This is a Taylor 114 CE with a spruce top, which is what gives it that bright sound. Real quick before I get started, if this does help you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So we're going to split this lesson into two parts. At first, I'm going to go over just the basic chords, open chords for beginners in a strumming pattern so they can play along with the song. And then towards the end, we're going to do the intro. So if you're looking to play the intro, go ahead and skip towards the end and then come back. Or you can just stay tuned for these intro beginner chords here. Okay, so we have a C chord, we have a G chord, we have an A minor chord, and an F open chord. And our strumming goes like this. Okay, so at full speed, I'm going to plug the chords in here, and then we'll slow it down. So we have our C chord, G, A minor, F open, C, G, A minor, F open. Now I'm going to slow that way down. Okay, so that you can play through the verse. You'll notice it's the same progression in the chorus. It's just they start doing some things with rhythm. So one way you can emulate that on guitar is by changing up our strumming pattern a little bit. So we can go and do something like this. Okay, so it's the same progression, we're on our C chord, strum, strum, mute, go to your G chord, mute, A minor, strum twice, mute, F, strum twice, mute. Okay, so that's how you can play throughout the whole song. It's just that progression, C, G, A minor, F. All right, so now we're gonna learn how to play the intro. So, the intro sounds like this. I'm not gonna put the tab up or anything here. I'm just gonna walk you through how to play this nice and slow here. So we're gonna start on that C chord, but now you're gonna add your pinky to the third fret of that high E. And we're going to strum through all five strings, but now we're going to alternate picking between the B and the E string. So just like that on that C chord. Then you're going to move your middle finger and your ring finger up one string, so now you're in a G chord, but you can leave your index on that first fret of the E string and your pinky stays as well. Same thing, so you strum through and alternate picking between your B and your E string. So putting those two things together, we start on our C chord, move to your G chord. Now we are going to move these two fingers to form an A minor shape. Meanwhile, your pinky and your index are going to stay in the same positions. Strum again through all the strings and alternate picking between your B and your E. 
And now we're going to walk down the B string. So you're going to put your pinky or your index or your ring finger on the third fret of this B, index on the first fret, open B, back to the first fret. So starting on our C chord, G chord, a minor chord, walk down that B string. One more time. all there is to it. So now you know how to play the intro and the chords if you're a beginner. So that's going to be it for this lesson. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials and original music from me. Thank you for watching.